One, two, three, four. And look at that, guys. Beautiful looking latte there. And this is a really fancy mug, isn't it? All right, guys, since I've been participating in No Shave November, so growing the beard out, I'm not doing a lot of shaving videos, so I'm looking for things to review. If you know anything about me, you know I am a sucker for marketing. And speaking of marketing, I was at the market the other day and I saw this. So it's Ready Whip Nitro Creamer made with non-fat milk and cream. Okay, guys, who doesn't love Ready Whip, right? But this isn't a whipped cream, guys. This is actually a way to make a latte. If you don't have all the fancy machinery, this is a way to make a latte at home. So on the back of the can, there are four easy steps. We all know how to use Ready Whip and make the perfect latte at home. So let's check this out. Without further ado, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide to making the perfect latte. All right, guys, so for my coffee, I've been a K-cup guy for a long time. Started out with the Keurig, but had some problems with it. And since then we've gone to this Cuisinart model. Makes a great cup of coffee, great K-cup maker. Stays hot longer than the Keurig. And knock on marble, we've had no issues with this unit since we got it. So I'll leave a link for this, as well as the Ready Whip in the description box below. Also love Crave Coffee K-Cups. I'll leave a link to these as well in the description box below. All different varieties. You got butter toffee here, Vermont maple, hazelnut, all different varieties, guys. So I'm gonna go with butter toffee. So the directions say, fill mug with coffee, save room for creamer. I think I can do that. We'll bring in our mug, nice and fancy. So there we go. So now I have a little bit of room for the creamer. Directions now say, shake can well four times before use. And we all know how to use Ready Whip. Flip the can over. We're gonna squirt this beautiful cream into our coffee and make the perfect latte. Cheers. Mm, very nice. Nice, creamy, yet not too sweet. So if you're like me, you're trying to reduce the sweetness in your beverages but you want a little bit of a treat or you like that latte taste without all the equipment, guys. So the new Ready Whip Barista Series Nitro Creamer, average guy tested, average guy approved. Five grams of sugar per serving, not terrible. It's a nice pick-me-up treat. No artificial flavors or sweeteners, no preservatives, no artificial growth hormones used, and it's gluten-free. And it tastes pretty damn good. As always, I wanna thank you for watching. Again, I'll leave links in the description box for the coffee maker that I use and this nitro creamer if it's available on Amazon. That way it can be sent out to you. And it's a win-win, guys. You get something, I get something. And now that you have your coffee, get out, have a great day, and I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. And I'm going to keep enjoying this Ready Whip Nitro Creamer today.